All right, so we're talking about our bracer layout, and we're going to look at mostly the dimensions we need to consider in terms of this design. And so one important thing to remember is that we have our original template, right? That's this thing here. So if you're trying to get an idea of what everything looks like, your piece of paper is going to come in handy for a couple of things but we're going to use the sort of leather background as an indicator for where we're taking this process. So in one of the previous videos, we were talking about whether or not we want this to be a left arm bracer or a right arm bracer. I decided a, a sense of symmetry was not what I was going for because the range of, of motion when you're extending and flexing your arm um, always is limited on the inside so the short section would indicate the inside and so the way I have it laid out this would be a bracer for my left arm and I've designed a pauldron that's going to have a similar pattern and that's also going to go on my left arm so I'm trying to design something that's sort of like a full sleeve so when I think about those those indications I know I want my steel strapping to have the stripping to be on the short section on the interior and the long section on the exterior and since it's a left arm this is that orientation okay and when when you start doing these designs you really do want to consider the limitations and because we're just using the rotary punch as our hole puncher we want to make sure that our rotary punch can fit to the depth of wherever our holes may be okay and that's really important now generally you do not want to take the um, hole here and try and pierce it through your steel strip because if you end up doing that the biggest concern is as you bring that hole to the steel strip if the steel strip doesn't fit directly around you can damage that hole punch and then you have to go to the store and buy a whole new punch screw it in and go back to work so generally what you'll do is transfer your design either with an emboss or with a sharpie or whatever you think is the most appropriate. Um, so a couple of things to consider. I'm going to use grommets to outline my border and grommets look like this, right? They're this tiny little, little thing and we punch a whole bunch of holes on the perimeter and then we lace these components together so that they tie around the arm, okay? And so you want to make sure as you do this design, right, you have enough room to do your lacing and get everything where you want rather than having a large buckle spanning that distance and maybe being uncomfortable. Um, you can do either or. They both work great, but there are different considerations for each. So for this one, we're going to talk about grommeting. Um, and that means that my perimeter needs to have enough room to hold my grommets all the way around and enough room for my steel plate all the way around and I still need to be able to reach with the hole punch into that depth so what I've got here is the whole assembly lined up right so that I can still reach my steel stripping and I have enough room for my grommet placement so as long as you consider that your layout should go fine but it's much faster to do it on your paper template so I'm going to use the wood block as my perimeter emboss step. So I'm going to define my line. I want to go this far in on my leather. So we're just going to trace that on my paper template so that I know what my border looks like. And once you have your border and you know, okay, well my grommets are going to go here and then I can fit my detail of a component somewhere else, right? And that gives you a good idea of how you're going to fit everything you need in your armor onto your armor and still have room for the metal bits and your design components. So here I've made my perimeter, right, going all the way around. And then the idea is I will have these grommets fitting into little holes, okay? And I don't know how many I'm going to have yet. That's an aesthetic choice. I don't know if I'm going to integrate rivets on the perimeter. That, again, is an aesthetic choice. Um, but at some point, we can do measuring to make sure we know what that layout is. Right now, we just want to make sure everything in our design is going to fit. So 
Again, we're doing the left arm bracer for myself, and I want to use this long steel component on the perimeter here. Okay, I want to make sure I have enough room for my grommets, which I do, and I also want to make sure I have enough room to reach with my hole punch from that perimeter marker, again, which I do. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my steel component right where I think I'm going to want it. I'm going to use the Sharpie to just make the indication where my holes are. Okay. And then I'm going to label it left, right? So I know that this component goes on my left arm, right? And then we're going to take the second component, and since they're not identical, right, I might use the longer one. This one seems a little short. There's the longer one. It might be more pleasing aesthetically, similar to our initial left component. This is a six inch piece. This is a five inch piece. I think that looks nice. So then I'm going to indicate that I want my alignment to be similar. I'm going to fill in my circles the same way, and I'm going to write left. Now, if you change your mind on the template, that's fine. But once you're in leather and you punch the holes, that's when you're going to run into trouble. So now that we have our template and we're satisfied with our template, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure on the paper that our hole punch can still reach that hole. So if you look closely, let's see if we can get the camera to see that. If you look closely, you can see that I can reach just slightly beyond my dot. So again, we're going to check over here and make sure that we can just barely reach. Okay, it's coming in a little bright, so I'm going to just touch the screen here. There we go. So you can see I'm just beyond that hole. And you want to check that for all three holes to make sure that when you go to do these punches, you're not folding the paper, you're not crimping the paper. The paper is perfectly flat, right? and it's just to the throat of our punch. Okay, and that's your major limitation when you're attaching metal strips. There are ways around it, but we're gonna cover that later. Okay, so ultimately the design we've chosen takes our leather piece, and we have one piece here and one piece here, and we're imagining as we extend and flex our arm that this piece isn't going to have enough leather getting in the way of us being able to move. So that's generally how we're going to lay out our perimeter. And after that, we can incorporate a design.